Ukraine plans to end war and begin negotiations with Russia. The Ukrainian government plans to begin negotiations with Russia and end the fighting that continues along a front line stretching nearly 1,000 kilometers. Now the Russians are closing in on a key supply route in the east and the fighting is getting heavier and more intense every day, the New York Times reports. The publication also noted that Ukraine hopes that the weapons and ammunition recently provided by Western allies will help it hold back Russian forces as happened in the northeast when the defense forces managed to stop an offensive on Kharkiv. At the same time, U.S. officials said that Russia is unlikely to achieve significant territorial gains in the coming months. As the war reaches its two-and-a-half-year mark, Ukraine is drawing up plans for a negotiated end to the fighting. President Volodymyr Zelensky has said he wants to hold a second international peace summit later this year and that Russian officials should attend, the article says. As is known, Moscow was not invited to the previous summit, which took place in Switzerland last month. Both sides have shunned direct peace talks since negotiations between Russia and Ukraine delegations fell through in the early weeks of Russia's invasion in February 2022. But during a press conference in Kyiv after his visit to the US for a NATO Defense Alliance summit, Zelensky opened the door to direct talks with officials from Moscow. I believe that Russian representatives should be at the second summit, Zelensky said, describing preparations for a follow-up gathering of Ukraine's allies. Donald Trump will quickly demand peace talks between Russia and Ukraine if he wins November's U.S. presidential election and has developed well-founded plans for doing so, Hungary's Viktor Orban has claimed after private discussions with the Republican candidate. That prospect means the EU should reopen direct diplomatic communication with Russia and start high-level negotiations with China to find a peaceful solution to the war in Ukraine, the Hungarian Prime Minister said in a private letter to EU leaders following consultations in Moscow and Beijing. Orban also said in the letter that on the basis of his recent discussions with Russian President Vladimir Putin, Chinese President Xi Jinping and Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky, the general observation was that the intensity of the military conflict will radically escalate in the near future. Moscow has relied heavily on Beijing to prosecute the conflict. Cool, so true, cool, so true.